Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. And of course, it is none other than a Sephora and Ulta haul. You guys can count on a haul like once a month over here on my channel. It's just what we do best, okay? I'm gonna make a quick disclaimer. My dog was playing with me this morning and he jumped and he scratched like right underneath my eye and it is killing me and it feels like I have something in my eye, but he really just scratched like right here. So if you see me like twitching or like whatever is something happening over here that's what's going on um also i'm trying a new part what do you guys think last night um i washed my hair and then my hair kind of like fell into this like weird middle side motion thing and i'm into it i feel like it looks cute you guys let me know what you think but without me rambling for the next 20 minutes let's get into this haul if you guys are interested go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and let's jump in. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this perfume from Ariana Grande. So I have a funny story. So I actually ordered two of her new ones. She came out with Mood Vanilla and Mood Blush. So I ordered both of them, right? But yesterday my sister was at my house and I did like a first impression of the perfumes for a TikTok and she smelled them and was like, oh my God, I really like the vanilla one. So I gave her the vanilla one and kept the blush one. So I threw out the blush box but kept the vanilla one, but gave the vanilla perfume away and have the blush one, if that makes sense. But yeah, so I did purchase both. They both smell really, really nice. The vanilla one is more like soft and sweet and like delicate, and this one is definitely more my speed. It's more of like, it's fruity and like candy-like, but at the same time, it's like womanly. I don't know, I was really into it. When I smelled this one, I was like, whoa, that is a me scent if I ever knew. I really don't know how I feel about the packaging. It's cute, it's different. It kind of reminds me of like an egg from like Jurassic Park, you know, like when the dinosaurs lay eggs in that movie. I feel like looking at it right now, that's what it's like reminding me of, but the packaging is what matters. It's the perfume itself, and the perfume itself is amazing. So yeah, so up next is from Sephora. This is from Kaja. This is their cheeky stamp in the shade Bossy. So I have never tried these, and I don't know why. I was just on, just on the Sephora website, and saw it and was like let me try it so it's the blush that you kind of like dip in and like stamp it on your hand kaja always has the cutest packaging so i don't know i was just was like everybody talks about them everybody loves them let me give them a shot and i tried it yesterday and it's really really cute i'm super into it right now we need to discuss the glitter on my lid i know you guys can see that glitter this is from gwen stefani's makeup brand this is her I see in sparkle multi-dimensional eye pigment okay in the shade twinkle so again I was just on the Sephora website and something about this was just calling my name it's a name it's a cool tone loose purple what it's a cool tone purple shade that's what I was trying to say why did I say loose and you guys know how I feel about cool tones and purples so I of course had to pick it up and this is so beautiful you guys as you can see on my lid it is literally stunning when i put it on this morning i was like whoa that is gorgeous so we're definitely into this and i feel like you will never ever run out of this because a little goes such a long way so definitely worth it if you're into like loose pigments Up next is from makeup by mario this is his mario lip lift kit so this is the mauve nude so in here you get a lipstick and a lip liner you get the Lipstick in the shade Aaron, and you get the Ultra Suede Lip Pencil in the shade Smoky Pink. And this just looked like my ideal lip combo. It's a cool, kind of like a cool tone nude, but it's really actually not. That's what it looked like when I put it on yesterday. It was more warm tone, but also cool. So it's like the perfect in between. This is the lipstick in the shade Aaron, and then this is the lip pencil in the shade, what is it again? Uh, smoky pink. I really enjoy the formula of this. I think it was very smooth, very creamy. So if you want to give a good gift, look into this because I feel like it was, I think, $20 or $22. You get a lipstick and a lip liner. I think that's actually not a bad deal considering it's Makeup by Mario. So definitely recommend. Sticking with lip products, this is from REM Beauty. This is the On Your Collar Plumping Lip Gloss. Now, I like the formula. I like the color. I absolutely hate the packaging of this. So when I got it in the mail, I thought you would open it and it would have like a little applicator. No, it just looks like this. So I really am not a fan of stuff like this unless it's like a lip balm or something. And this is a very sticky like lip gloss. So it was kind of hard to apply. Just it wasn't comfortable applying. So I like the formula. I like the shade. I don't like the packaging, so I don't think I'll be reaching for it that much. I actually think I may return it because of the packaging. It just wasn't an enjoyable experience. I don't know if that's me being like 
harsh or whatever, but I just didn't enjoy putting this on, so 50-50 on it. So I guess we'll just stick to lip products, right? So this is from Fenty Skin. This is their new Plush Pudding Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. Now, I love Fenty Skin. So when I saw they were launching this, I, of course, had to pick it up. So it's very unique. It, like, that's where the product comes out of, and you just twist the bottom, and it, like, disperses like that. So I think that's really cool. I don't own any, like, lip masks like that, so... I'm into it. I tried it this morning, and it's very, very thick and very hydrating. So, so far, I'm into it. Okay, so this is a funny story. So, of course, I had to order the brand new Rare Beauty um, highlighters because, hello, whenever Rare Beauty comes out with something, we immediately need to buy it, right? So, of course, I ordered it. So, it came, like, literally, like, an hour ago. So, of course, put it on, tried it out. They sent me the wrong shade. They sent me the shade Mesmerize, and I ordered the shade Enlighten. But I actually do like this shade. When I first opened it, I was like, hmm, this looks a little different than what it looked like on the website. It looks really, like, dark. I remember ordering the lighter one. And I did order the lighter one, but they sent me the wrong one. But I don't think it looks bad. This highlighter, it is so intense, you guys. It is probably one of the most intense highlighters I've ever used. And... It didn't emphasize any texture. It just gives you that really beautiful, like, glow from within. This shade is, like, a hint too dark for me, so I may actually go return it and get the correct shade. But so far, the formula is absolutely incredible, you guys. So up next, I had to restock on my Holy Grail lashes. I'm wearing them right now. This is from um, Kiss, and this is their Faux Mink Lashes in the style Jubilee. So I love these. As you can see, I do cut them. Um, I cut about half of the lash and just use the outer portion just to put right on the outer portion of my eye. That's how I really love to wear my lashes. So I go through probably one of these a month because I'm always wearing them. And obviously you can't wear them like too many times with the lash glue and everything because then they just get like funky and gross. So I like to replace them like once a month. So love these. If you want a good affordable lash, these are amazing. Okay, so sticking to lashes, I did pick up two more lashes. I picked up another one from Kiss. This is their collab with Meredith. And these lashes really reminded me of these, but just a little bit more intense. This is in the style Flutter, and I just had to have them because they are stunning. I picked up these ones from House of Lashes. As you can see, I have a type when it comes to lashes. I don't know if you can tell because of the glare, but I like the cat eye effect. This is in the style Iconic Light. So as you guys can see, these are all pretty much like the same exact lash. Somewhat. I mean, they're the same exact lash style, but... I'm a creature of creature of habit, so what can I say? But I haven't used the House of Lashes in such a long time, um, and I don't really want to cut them, but I do think that these would look gorgeous as a half lash, so I'm probably going to wind up cutting them. And then same thing with these. These are freaking stunning. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to try those as well. And I picked this up. I cannot believe I have been into makeup for like the last 10 years, and I have never tried this. This is the NYX Glitter Primer. I actually used it for the first time today with the Gwen Stefani loose pigment because I was like, what better time to try this out than right now? So this is the famous NYX Glitter Glue. And you guys, it is everything and more. Like I have never had, I don't really use loose pigment, so I will say that, but any type of glitter or pressed glitter that I have never ever looks like that. So I think the combination of the formula of the Gwen Stefani and the glitter glue really made for the difference and really made it pop. So if you haven't tried this yet, like me, you need to get on it, especially if you want to use glitters or loose pigments or something like that. You need this. This actually is not from Sephora, but it is sold at Sephora. It was just sold out at the time that I purchased it. This is the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette, okay? So I had to pick this up after I tried his new Eternal Lights palette. I have been meaning to pick this up for a while, but it's just been sold out. And once I tried his new eyeshadow palette and I used the mattes in there, I was like, no, 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 no. Like, I need to try this now. So I picked it up. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So, oh, I scratched it with my nail. But um, it's just a pretty basic palette. Like, it's nothing crazy, but it's the perfect everyday matte eyeshadow look. So if you want something that's simple, neutral, this is for you. And these shadows blend really, really nice. So I recommend, I really, really recommend Makeup by Mario's eyeshadow formula. It is one of my favorites. Him and Natasha Denona are really like neck and neck right now for my favorite palettes because they just blend so easily. I love it. So I don't know why Ulta sent me this. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if I got it like as a free gift. I don't remember seeing it on my order as a free gift, but this is from Kenra. This is the All Curl Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner, I guess. 
I really don't know. I saw this in the box and was like, hmm, I think it is for curls, um, which I clearly don't have. I have very fine, thin, flat hair. So yeah, this is not for me, but they sent this to me and maybe I'll try it. I don't know, but there is one thing that I really, really want to show you guys. So Ulta is awesome when it comes to like their incentive program, especially around the holidays. Like Sephora does not compare in the slightest. I feel like Sephora is very like, cheap and greedy like in order to redeem a hundred dollar gift card from sephora or a hundred dollar reward thing you have to use 2500 points which equates to 2500 dollars. so every 2500 dollars, sephora gives you a hundred dollars which is like and that's if it's even available it's not available all the time so i feel like their reward system they're trying to make it better but it just doesn't compare to ulta so this wasn't a reward thing but Right now, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just getting over having the flu and I cannot shake this cough, you guys. So when I talk too much, my cough just gets like, my throat gets really dry and I just can't stop coughing. So if I'm talking a little fast, that's because I wanna get through this video because when I talk for too long, my voice and my throat gets super dry and I just start coughing. All right, but anyway, so right now for the holidays, they're running, whenever you buy a fragrance or any type of perfume from them, you get a free blanket. So they sent me a free throw. This is a limited edition flush throw. And I mean, I don't buy blankets like that because I feel like they're so expensive. I don't know if that's just me being cheap, but even at like Home Goods or Target or wherever, they're kind of expensive. And the fact that I bought a perfume and got this free blanket, like I am so into it. That's what I'm saying when I say that. Ulta is not cheap and Sephora is so cheap and like greedy and annoying. They don't give out stuff like this like ever so I feel like they really need to step up their program and start giving out free stuff because it makes me more inclined to want to buy from Ulta because you get so much like free shit like look at this I got this free thing for just spending money with them so I really do enjoy shopping at Ulta a little bit more than I do Sephora so now that I'm done having like my little mini Karen moment um yeah so that is everything that I picked up I do have more stuff but those are actually gifts for my friends and some of them watch my videos, so I don't want to show any of those gifts and then them watch this video and be like, oh, is that what she's giving me? Because I want it to obviously be a surprise. But yeah, so that completes this video, you guys. Let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these products. Let me know if you agree with me when it comes to the Sephora versus Ulta like incentive and rewards program. I want to know all of your thoughts. But yeah, like I said, let me know if you guys have any of these products. Let me know if you guys are trying the new Ariana Grande perfumes. I feel like whenever she comes out with a perfume, everybody goes crazy for them because her scents are just like iconic. So that's all I have you guys in today's video. Please do not forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and happy holidays you guys. I hope you guys have a safe, happy and healthy holiday season. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.